we live in the same house. Um, so I don't understand how I was accounted for zero overnight. Well, if you reside in the same house, why are we doing support? <laughs> um, um, then, sir, you'd also written that child care expenses is false. You're here today, sir, on your objection to a child support recommendation. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Ms. Foreman, did you see his objection? Yes, I did. All right. So let's kind of go through this line by line, I guess. So it first said that the overnights is <clears throat> not correct. Is that correct, Mr. Kremko? Is, You're objecting to the, over, yeah, the overnights? Mean, yes, my objection to the overnights is correct. Um, we live in the same house. Um, so I don't understand how I was accounted for a zero overnight if we reside in the same house. Well, if you reside in the same house, why are we doing support? <laughs> um, what, what's right. the situation, Ms. Form? Um, Jack has been living, I offered him a temporary place to stay in August of 2022 after he was um, okay. evicted from um, another home. And he has been living rent-free in my house since August of 2022. Um, we are right. not together. It's So I'm seeking child support for our daughter. And man, I mean, how do you guys handle parenting time and um I have her oops sorry. Um she's with me. He's works all week. He's gone during the week and he's home or here on the weekends. Um typically every other weekend he's around when his son um is here. Other than that, she is with me. All right. Do you think he should have credit for some overnights? Um, he has not done any of the overnight responsibilities. Um, she is in my physical care. So, no. Mr. Kremkow, what's your position on that? Um, we've had our own, um, child support set up, um, for the past, however, many years um, where I pay her monthly. I do pay her monthly. Um, I wasn't evicted, um, but I did move out from my previous residence and she did offer me a place. Hold on, sir. So we're kind of, we're getting off base of my okay. questions. We don't have a, a ton of time. Um, you're asking for some credit for overnight parenting time. She's indicating that you really don't have overnight. So what do you want to say on that issue? I don't see how, right, when she said that I don't take care of the, the overnight responsibility, I mean, she's pretty independent, so I don't see how really anyone could justify saying that they do right, take so care you, of the, Is it correct that you are gone during the week? Um, for the most part, I mean, I could be there at night, yes, but I am gone during the week. I am there um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. She sort of made it indicate like you kind of have sort of an every other weekend where you're a little more responsible for the duties. Is that accurate or not accurate? Not so accurate. All right. Well, what do you think is not accurate about that? Um, I'm there. Um, just because she's there too. So wait, the difficulty made, is she she's made, there. Hold on. So the difficulty is she's there too because you guys are choosing to live in the same house. Um, I mean, how, how do you handle parenting time? How do you feel you handle parenting time? Do you take your daughter off and do things? Do you? Yes. Okay. And you have another child, is that correct? That is correct, yes. What's your parenting time with that child? Uh, week on, week off during the summer and then during school um, every other weekend. Okay. Does that child come stay with you at that residence or do you go somewhere else? Yes. No, we stay there. All right. Then, sir, you'd also written that child care expenses is false. 
Well, in the um, recommendation, um, it was noted that I did not submit my information. And in talking with Edward from the front of the court, um, I think there was some kind of an issue with um, his email or something. He did actually get my information and entered it, everything incorrectly and all of that. So the calculation, I feel, was based off of not correct information as well as the amount of over $1,000, I feel, is pretty, that's really, really steep. Financially, that would really ruin so. Are you paying rent or not paying rent? Paying rent, yes. We don't have a contract or anything. There was an expense on here for child care. Do you feel she's not, does not have a cost for There's, child care? Yeah, she is uh, after school. When she gets off the bus, she is with her grandmother, which is her mom. And her mom isn't charging her child care. Other times that Charlotte may need child care, um, it's her, her dad, um, as well as my mom, watches our daughter. So there is no child care. All right. So it was Friend recorded is... that there was a, a weekly or monthly child care cost, and there isn't one. Right. Friend of the court, is it correct that initially you did not get the financial information for Mr. Kremkow, but have that now? That is correct. We received it after the objection was filed. All right. And do you have any information regarding child care expenses? Yeah, it looks like the week the cost for child care came from the child care provider. So um, that's all that we looked into. It was determined that there was an annual child care amount of one thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. All right. Miss Foreman, what would like what would you like to say about the child care expenses? Um child, Charlotte does go to Latchkey um a few days a week. During the fall, she goes four to five days a week because my mom is not available to get her off the bus. And during the summer, she goes to daycare one day a week. Um, she is with my parents um, the other day, so I do not pay for those days, but she does go to daycare one day a week during the summer or if there's another right. day that grandparents aren't available. And is that the information then that you submitted for that calculation? Yes, sir. Submitted? Okay. Well, I do want to make sure we get Mr. Kremkow's um, income correct. I mean, obviously, he was given an opportunity. There was some hiccups in the process, but that information is now received. Um, so I do think a new recommendation should be prepared based on that financial information. Um, I will deny the objection as to the child care expense. Um, but for overnights, I think you should be given some overnights on a every other weekend uh, basis. So we should add those into the calculation also. So what's going to happen um, is the court's going to the front of the court's going to prepare a new child support recommendation, send it out to both of you. You'll both again will have a right to object if you have any disagreements with that document. Any questions, uh, Ms. Foreman? No, sir. All right, and Mr. Kremkow, do you have any questions? No. All right, thank you both for appearing. That does conclude the matter. You may sign off. Is that child care being paid? to her mother to watch the child or a licensed facility that I'm paying on? Um, did you put that in your motion? I believe it is. It's under child care. And uh, who provides your child care for you? My mom. How much do you pay her? Um, it's $176 a week. And does she run like a child care center, a daycare center or something? She does not. So the money that I'm paying to her mother could very well just be going right back into her pocket and getting double of what I have to pay. It seems like I'm getting scammed, getting screwed over on this. Well, I, I, I would agree. That